Good morning guys, welcome back to Alex Lawn Adventures. Last video, I did a dethatching on this little side part of my yard next to my garage. So we're gonna do a little update of that. And then we also have something new that I got. So I'd like to show you guys that. So let's go check that out right now. So I had one of those hoses that was expandable hoses. Well, it decided that it was gonna get a hole in it and blow up. So I got this Flexzilla hose for Christmas and I've been waiting for that expandable hose to blow up because it seems like every year we went through two of those hoses. You know, they get caught on the concrete, on the paver blocks, dragging them across the yard, across the concrete. It's kind of hard on them. And it seems like every year we have like two of them blow up. So I asked for this for Christmas and I've been waiting to open this baby up. So let's open this up. If you guys have had experience with Flexzilla, let me know. This is my first experience with it. This is a 100 foot Flexzilla hose. And we're going to be sticking some quick connect, connect ends on them. I left them over here. Okay, we're going to put these little brass fittings on here, these quick connectors. Just so that way it's easier to hook up. I got these off of Amazon. They're got like a 10 pack of them. They've worked fine. They've had them for two seasons now. I put them on everything, pressure washer, all my hoses, all my nozzles, everything like that. Works out really well. So, without getting this tangled, I'm gonna try to string this out so we can test it out. so if you guys haven't ever seen these quick connectors and how you use them so this little deal here you just use your two fingers and you pull up on it so it moves like that it's just like an air hose fitting so you'll pull them up slip that in and release it and it's locked in and therefore you can just when you want to click release it just pull this little deal here up and it pulls right out. That way you don't have to unscrew and screw these on each time. So we're going to go turn the water on, test it out. Water's on, it don't look like anything's leaking. Let's see if it works. There it goes. Brand new hose. No leaks either. Awesome. All right, now let's get back to the lawn. So like I mentioned earlier, and in the last video, we dethatched part of the lawn. And we're gonna do, I think my neighbor just mowed over a whole tree over there. My God, it sounded awful. Okay, so we dethatched half of it. And I did something that I, I did not show on camera and I can insert a little clip here in it but in the part that I well actually over the whole thing I put down grass seed I know you're not supposed to put grass seed down in the summer but I wanted to try and see what it would do if it would grow how it would look if it would continue to grow and we have grass coming up whether or not it stays alive i don't know because we still have at least a month a month and a half of really hot temperatures still here in southern iowa but i've been watering it at least twice a day morning and night trying to keep the seed wet and keep it growing so let's take a look at what we've done so it still looks pretty holy Especially the part that I dethatched. And then 
if you remember from this tree like right in here is where I quit detaching this has also been this also got seed it's also been getting water twice a day I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick this up but we're gonna try our best Can you guys see all that little seedlings in there now this is only five days after putting the seed down not even five a little about four days so you can see I'm not gonna walk on it you can see this bare spot here I'll try to zoom in you can see that bare spot there we're getting grass that's coming back up and then if you look along the concrete we're getting grass throw the stick out of there you can see all the little grass seedlings coming up I don't know how well I'll be able to zoom in but this is another really good spot where you can see a lot of the new grass seedlings coming in Now, do I recommend putting seed down in the summer? Probably not. But, this is a test for you guys, for YouTube. I know, I may be stupid, I may have just wasted, I don't know how much I threw down, a couple pounds of seed. It's just ryegrass seed, because I wanted to germinate quick, try to get it up going quick. But, you know, it may all die out. I'm gonna try to keep it watered at least once a day for the next little while you know the next two weeks or so and try to get it going i can't believe it's coming up i mean uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be coming up but it has been hot it's been almost 90 degrees and it looks like the next couple weeks are going to be even hotter so i'm kind of worried about it you know not having enough roots established and not being a big enough plant where it may die off but we're gonna try to keep it watered, keep it fed. I may put another application of liquid fertilizer on it. Uh, not right now, maybe two weeks maybe. Once it fully comes up and see if I can, you know, get it to grow a little bit better. I, I'm amazed that it's coming up as good as what it is. This seed is from the Seed Superstore online. So it, it's certified seed, it don't have weed seeds in it. Or it's not supposed to have weed seeds in it it's supposed to, it's it was expensive seed so it's supposed to be a good seed so this is a little test for you guys i'll keep you updated on the seed situation on how this looks you know detached i'll show it again it's really holy and patchy but for the most part it's really it's actually greened up and i don't know if that's because a it has less thatch or B because I've been watering it twice a day where before you know this big tree has been blocking out all the rain that it gets especially one part I don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera very well but around this tree has really greened up which is surprising I don't know if there's this part over here I haven't seen. I guess there's there's a few seedlings coming in here. And this is the area that I did not detach. You can kind of see it, all the lighter green. So I, I'm pleasantly surprised by all this. I'm glad that this is trying to grow. This is one spot that I don't know if you guys remember or not, but we got this planter here and that planter here and we had our bathroom remodeled earlier this year and that planter got destroyed and so then we had just that one left and we ended up getting two new ones so that way they matched and I moved them over a little bit so that's why there's a little bit of dirt there and a little bit of dirt there. I moved them over so that way they're exactly the same. 
So we got a little patch of grass that's not growing, but it's a little lawn update, new garden hose update. If you guys want to see more of these tests that I'm trying to do, you know, I know it may be a stupid idea, but I'm going to try it for you guys. So I'll keep you updated on that. That's, this is about a four day update. Uh, I did it last Friday. Today is Wednesday morning. So almost five days, I guess now. So We'll check back in on it in about another five days and see how it's going. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. What's up, guys? So, today is Monday. I think the last time I filmed was Wednesday. And so here's a little update on the grass. So, this is filling in nicely. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but a lot of this light green color is new grass this spot right here is still pretty thin but it's still got a lot of new seedlings coming in that spot right there i guess the bush is kind of shading it but that right there is really coming in good there's a lot coming in got some garage projects so there's some sawdust all over but some seedlings coming in all down this concrete area so it's kind of a little patchy still but there is still a lot of grass that's coming in it's supposed to be in the 90s all week so I got the hose out here I'm gonna water this down but I'm not sure if the camera picks it up very well but to the eye there's a lot of new grass a lot of new growth in here I'm really surprised at how well this is growing like all this lime green is new grass. So I, I am really pleased with how it's looking. It's coming out really well. That's all new grass right there. I'm not sure if some of the grass seed that I put right in here, if maybe some of it washed into here because there's a lot of new grass right in there. But I am, I am pleased on how it looks so far. I will keep you guys up to date on this. I'm going to try to get this video out today. So that way I can kind of keep up on all this. But just got home from work. Going to water the lawn. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.